thank you guys for tuning in once again to another one of my videos today we're going to be prepping the alloy art strut lights we're going to be prepping these guys up for the lowrider s so let's go ahead and open this a hex key in there that will allow us to take these off and just spray so well, instead of masking and trying to cover up this these lights let's just go ahead and remove these keys out just so we can slide the actual LED out And these are not, you don't have to tighten these down, they're just kind of pinched down on the uh, on this plastic. So you don't, you do not want to over tighten these. Now these are pretty much, you could wipe these down, get them ready for, for paint. We're going to be using a little bit of self etching primer for the, uh, for the black. Uh, paint to to grip. So let's go ahead and go outside and start painting. Set up kind of what you see here. If you're outside and it's windy, or it's, even if it's not windy, it's a good idea to weigh down uh, whatever you're painting on top of. Because a lot of the times, air would catch this and then fall on top of your work area or your painted pro uh, painting area and then that would ruin the finish if you're looking for a smooth finish this one we're looking for a wrinkled black finish So we loosen this up. This is what it looks like. Take off the seat. Loosen this guy up and then we're gonna loosen up the other side. So make sure you leave this on the inside this goes on the outside the longer side all right you don't have to undo the other bolt on the inside okay so now we lifted the fender be very careful on scratching your paint job take your time once again like always these are the bolts that we have to remove to get these lights out and so what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this up and then we're going to go ahead and disconnect these wires so we don't have to remove the main fuse and we'll go from there. Now let's take a look at these guys, okay? For some reason on this one your right signal light is connected to the left side. Look at this. 
this is your this is your right signal light and that is connected to the black to the one to the connector on the left side so that means your gray one see another way to do this is loosen that up and then pull so then your left turn signal light is connected to the gray one this is your left one, this is your right one. Even though it's backwards, I don't know, maybe they made a mistake on when they were putting this together. But this, you could just slide it forward and it pulls out like so. Same thing on this one, slide it forward and it comes out just like that. Okay, so once again, the gray one is the right one. The black one is the left one. Look, gray connector. Is the left one. The black connector is your right signal light. See? Right here. All right. Black one, right one, gray one, left one. All right, we went ahead and uh, wrapped up this in electrical tape, and we're gonna go ahead and tape this to the old wires just so we could have something to be like a fishing line uh, just so you could put it all through Alright, now we solder these connections in, black to black, uh, red to purple, and then we're going to use the sink, the heat sink tubing to kind of seal these guys up and then use this main one to seal it all together. And then we're going to go over it with some electrical tape just to be on the safe side. All of this stuff, stick, it's going to be underneath the seat so we don't have to probably worry about the weather uh as much but let's just do it the right way since we're already here all right guys so let's keep on going and then we're gonna work on the other side okay so it looks like the left side is now finished uh now we could this this could potentially be called a plug and play now because now we just have to connect this and that's pretty much it so this is the outer tubing and then on the inside you can see it right here that's the inner tubing they're all heat shrinked and that's pretty much sealed now we're going to go over it with some electrical tape just to be on the safe side let's do it right the first time so we don't have to do it twice 
So let's wrap this up in electrical tape and then hook this guy up. Um, look, so you can take a look inside right here. This is the electrical taping that I wrapped around the wiring and this guy was just going here. We don't have to worry about an opening anywhere here because it's underneath the seat and this is why we should do this, uh, do it right the first time. And this would help it against the weather. It's also against the outer of the uh, fender so we don't have to worry about mud and all that uh, wet. The, the rain or anything getting kicked up by the uh, by the tire because of it's it's going to be protected within the strut and the fender. Okay, there's pretty much everything is already connected. These are the LEDs that's running inside of the strut all the way through. Everything's electrical taped just in case. This is where. I connected them again back to where they were this little this little piece right here this is just to prevent it from scratching the fender so you could put that see right there you could put it against the strut so that way it's not banged mm -hmm. up against the your, your nice black uh, paint job and then everything, I went ahead and I put this guy back in here. This is an easy, you know, just push it back in. That locks in there. Once again, these are color coded for the uh, signals. This one's your left. I mean, this one's your, this one's your right. This one's your left. For some reason, these are backwards. I don't know, that's the way it came from the factory. Now let's go ahead and install the, uh, the actual pieces onto this onto the struts I went ahead and installed the alloy art strut lights already Loctite guys Loctite uh, this kit does not come with these bolts I had to find these from something else I don't remember what it was off of but that's pretty much it uh, the look of it, I don't, they look like, uh, honestly, I, I'm not feeling the look of it, but I guess, I mean, this is the, this is the way that, 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 that's pretty much it. Maybe they'll release another kit for the, uh, Lowrider S. I thought, uh, I mean, they fit, but... There's still this gap up here, as you can see, it's very noticeable. Maybe I'd probably say maybe it's a quarter quarter inch gap from the top. But now I'll be able to mount my saddlebags. Alright. Everything's connected again. We're about to turn on the bike. Let me just put everything back together. Saddlebags. Slowly, slowly. Watch for your paint. Don't scratch your paint.
looks with the saddlebags. We're gonna have to see how he looks with the saddlebags. And which is gonna have to it's gonna have to wait until tomorrow for the saddlebags. Right, Rayleigh? Right, right? Tomorrow? She's scared of the, the of the Harley. She's terrified. It's too loud for you, right? Oh, I'm so sorry, Riley. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. See, she's terrified of the Harley. Uh, I'm gonna let it warm up. Let's see if I I have some, I have other things that I want to do today. If I take her out, so you guys get to look around, see how it looks. So far, I'm, I'm happy with it for the reason that I'll be able to install the saddlebags now. Uh, as far as the, the fitment itself, it, it's just uh, it just doesn't fit just right. And it's probably because of the wrinkle finish on the struts. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about the about these alloy art, alloy art strut lights, LEDs. Thank you for watching.